How's it going, Preston Outdoors fans? Welcome back once again to another video. As you can tell, we are in the same position we were in the last couple videos. My dad and I are heading out to the lake once again to try and chase after the North Dakota elusive yellow perch, the slew tigers, slew sharks, North Dakota gold, whatever everybody calls them. We're out here to try it again. Um, thick, thick fog here. The roads were really crappy getting into town, but we got a nice little snowmobile ride out here and uh, hopefully the fish are still here and hopefully this fog makes them a little more active. Finding the active fish does. So here we go. Got one down there. Yeah. Just disappeared. Flew up, but there's only one. My plastic. First fish. Are they down there? No. That was just a single yeah. that I called in, but what do you think of that one? Tape measure on you? Single fish came up on the rip and wrap, dove back down, so I dropped the tungsten. Mine's a little small. You got rip and wrap? No, I don't. Find that active school yep. where you catch about three or four and they race up after you. Nice one though. Oh, here comes one. They're back. A couple of mine. They're chasing me up. And they're chasing this There's thing. one right underneath the hole, it looks like. Oh, down a little? Just down a little? Yeah, like right underneath the transducer. Chasing me. Really? Yeah, I don't there's... see a, anything in my hole here. There we go. Holy cow, you're Is that a nice one or is it just a fat one? Fat one. I didn't see anything, but they they were off the graph, off the distance right underneath the uh right underneath the ice, but they chased me down. So, all the holes that we drilled. 
made that little flurry right away that you guys saw. Otherwise, it's like, move, get on a school. School's not very big, small school. And then they're just not sticking around. They're just flying around, catch one out of a hole here, catch out of a hole. It's just been different. So I don't know if this fog, barometric pressure, or fishing pressure in the area has got them moved around. So plan on doing now is going drilling some more holes and expanding from the area where we've had success in the last couple videos. So that's just fishing. You can't expect them to stay in one spot all the time. But this is exactly what we've talked about being mobile, being active when the weather's nice, and active active style of fishing. So we're gonna go expand on a expand on a new area and see if we can't find some fish. by himself though. Oh yeah, my graph is officially dead. Fisher bite. Fisher biting. I just have to do it the old-fashioned way. What do you got on that they're biting? A tungsten with a perch eye. Really? Yeah. Right off the bottom. Perch I have seen better days. Let's just take this thing out of the hole and just start filming with this thing. Fast and furious, Marv. Well, maybe we'll have to try to move this thing takes forever to get down there. Holy cow, is that one coming up to me? Already followed this one up. It must have. About halfway down. Oh, that one nailed it. Smoked it? Oh, you just, you get them? No. Not worth it. At least you didn't have a glove on like I did. Nice fish. Another nice one, huh? as fast as we can go. It's all a timing thing, I think. Daytime, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is the longest we've had a school underneath us. Give me your, toss those ones over here. 39 so far in the bucket. And before this we had like 20. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours to get 20. 20 minutes to get whatever the rest of the math is. The one down there? I don't see. Like that bite right there? You know, I feel the bite. Yeah. I can hear the I just hear the rip and wrap go off.
We're done. No, we just need to go to hold the hole and make it look like we're just not catching That's number 40. We're out of here. Once again, this is where we're signing off. On the back of my dad's ice house, just how we began and ended this video and videos in the past. So, lesson learned today. Stay active, be mobile. And it all has to do with daylight timing. Bite was a little bit later today and we were probably 50, 60 yards where we originally thought we were gonna catch him. So, stay mobile, punch holes, be active. And if you get on the perch, don't be afraid to punch a hole right next to your buddy and just slay on him. Keep something down and keep the school active. So, well thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time too. Preston Outdoors, ho!